everyone so I've been looking and seeing that there seems to be quite a lot of these flip-flop videos and so I decided to make a flip-flop journal and here's my version of it so I'll do a flip through with you so that you can see uh, how I did it um, I'm not going to show you how I made it I'm just going to show you the finished product because I think there's enough videos around that are showing how to actually make them so here we go on the front I used a child's pocket from a pair of jeans I really like using these because they're cheap to pick up and they've always got some cute little embroidery or something on them so that's the first envelope is here with the little pocket stuck on the front and I made a tag to go in there and then on the back the little envelope you can get into it and I've got a couple of little cards in there all right so now we're going into the first signature and I've put lace on the front and this here matches this here and that's actually an Amity Bloom print it's a printable um, this is a beautiful doily that I cut up and you'll see the rest of it throughout the journal I've used lots of um, book pages from um, an old I think it was a ladybird book on English uh, wildflowers and of course this is from Edith Holden and there's a little, couple of little tuck spots here and I've got some vintage payslip parts from the 5th of May 1961 so I've stuck those in there and there's also some stickers there's also an old pay packet from the same era yep. so that is actually an envelope this is the old R&I bank doesn't even exist in Australia anymore I think it's Bank West now but yeah so I picked them up on Marketplace there was a, hot, a guy selling a whole batch of them there's some more of those pay slips there's a little um, butterfly a little pocket there behind a cluster really old book page there's plenty of room in here for journaling this is the first uh, the middle of the first signature so it's just a simple uh, three hole pamphlet stitch that I use throughout the whole journal and there's these little tags that were made from more of the old stuff you'll have to excuse my voice this week I've been a little bit sick so it may be more croaky than normal more of that book and some more of the doily sewn down the side it's a tuck spot on the back that I made from a bookmark that's some um, paper from a book that I then just did paint splatters on it's another little pocket I put my business card in there and a little photo of a little girl it's really cute vintage one another cluster with all bits that are through the, the journal a 
another piece of Amazon paper that I use underneath when I'm doing ink dome. Beautiful colours. And that's just a, a postage sticker that you can stick anywhere you like. This is another Amity Bloom print made into a pocket. This is an old card and I just made it for the middle of the signature. So we're in the middle of the second signature now. Amity Bloom print again. And I think this is a Louisa Heinzel printable uh, postcard. I really like them, they print off really nice. That's there is uh, more gesso and stuff from another project. So when I'm finished I just, um, I use a, an old card and when I'm finished I just do this on the backing paper and that leaves that mark. Plenty of places to journal. This is one of my own printables. Now we turn it over. It's the third envelope. Tag. More of that doily. I've sewn those on. Another bookmark at the back there is a pocket. And there's some stickers. This is a recycled tag from another project. I think it was um, Junk Journal July last year. Another snippet. This is part of a book page some lace and a tab and just fold it over the edge of the page so you can take it out and do with it what you like write on it journal that kind of thing this is another amity bloom printable so I've made it into a pocket on the side and this is just a, a little a piece of recycled art and then I just put some paper in it you can open up and journal in, and that's been tea dyed. That just goes back in the side of there. That's more of the um, no, excess paint. I just painted onto pages when I'm finished, so I use it up off of my brush. So another recycled tag from Alice in Wonderland. It's another sticker, a little pocket. There's more room there to put stuff into. Uh, another journaling spot. I think that was tea dyed actually, not coffee dyed that one. This is another page that just goes over the page. So you can take that out if you want to or leave it in there. Write a secret note underneath. More stickers. That paper there is, um, I received a journal I bought a journal and that's the paper that it came in so I think that's vintage paper so I stuck that in the journal as well it's really beautiful paper but it was very delicate so I've had to reinforce it down the edges and then you'll see there I've put washi tape underneath where the three hole pamphlet stitch goes so that it's reinforced that would be the only thing that I would suggest when you're making this journal is that you reinforce where the envelopes join because otherwise you might find that it'll just fall apart there's more of that doily so you've got the same theme going through that's from Edith Holden another little pocket made from a dictionary page that I sewed on at the back um, more paint on dictionary pages there's another um, cluster there
more paint, book page, I have reinforced a lot of these pages with tape just to make sure that they stay put, kind of like the sparkly pages, I do like sparkly paint sometimes in journals, just add something, a dictionary page. And you'll see there's lots of bits of string hanging through from where I pulled these old books apart. They were actually sewn together, so they're real old books. This is an Edith Holden page. And as we flip over, we're back to the start again. So that's my take on a flip-flop journal. It's really, really cute, really tactile, loads and loads and loads of stuff inside. That's the view of one side, if I flip it over. That's the view of the other side. Oh yeah, I was really, really happy with how that turned out. And that's now available on my Etsy shop. There's also some little beads, little hearts that I added on, and another little random bead. So they sort of hang down the bottom there, and they come from the middle of a couple of the signatures. So I didn't do all of them, but yeah, just from a couple. So there we are. Thanks very much for tuning in. And if you can like and subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. Or share this video if you'd like to. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.